County says it has just 4,000 ballots left to count. Some of you are wondering what's taking so long, but as News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink reports tonight, the process is actually taking less time this year than it did during the 2018 midterms. Eric live tonight at the Pima County Recorder's Office downtown with more on our top story. Eric. Good evening to you both. Pima County Recorder F.N. Rodriguez says she and her staff are about a day ahead of schedule from where they were during the midterms two years ago. And remember, this year, a presidential year, seeing record turnout here in Pima County and across the state. The vast majority of the votes were already tabulated in the results given. These are the, the, the tricklers that, that are coming in. Recorder F.N. Rodriguez has been overseeing elections in Pima County for nearly 30 years. This is her seventh presidential election. And Rodriguez says this part of democracy takes time. This is how the process works, you know. And let's face it, in today's world, people want instantaneously of everything. And in the election process, there's always about getting it right, not getting it done Fastest. On Thursday, the recorder's office finished verifying signatures and processing more than 16,000 provisional ballots that will count this November. And there is, in fact, a timetable here. In Pima County, on November the 17th, the Board of Supervisors will make our local election results official. Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs and her staff have until November 30th to certify the results of federal and state races, none of which Hobbs says will go to a recount. There's simply no provision in state statute that allows for a recount for a margin that falls outside of the trigger of 200 votes. And we're, we're certainly not going to hit that in this election. So, so no, there's no um, contemplation of a recount here. More than 3.4 million Arizonans cast a ballot in the general election, including more than 520,000 voters here in Pima County. The people that we serviced at our front counters, at our walk-in early voting site, at our curbside thing, were the most gracious, kind people that treated my staff. And that I'm glad that they didn't give them a hard time. And back out here live tonight, the Pima County Elections Department says it will finish counting the several thousand ballots it has still out by tomorrow. We've got you covered live tonight downtown at the Pima County Recorder's Office. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.